Eli turned 65 this year. Happy birthday, Eli. And he's wondering what the process is for filling out homestead exemptions with the Property Value Administration, PVA. So you see the theme. We go from, yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah, so. uh, it's easy. Um, you can actually get on the website. They have all the forms right there. Uh, the thing is, taxes are assessed and attached on the day for, or on the uh, first day of the year for which the bill was assessed. So you don't get it for this year since you're turning 65 this year. However, uh, go ahead and fill out the paperwork in December, get it to the PVA. Um, I don't think it's online uh, uh, to, to submit it, but all the forms are online. And, or you can just walk on down and do it. But uh, come January 1 of 2024, uh, you would then have the uh, homestead discount, which is what? 25%? 28%? No, it's not. 20, I thought it was 40,000. Yeah, it's 40,000. Like 48, 48 40. six, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it saves you about 400 bucks a year in right. taxes. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's a couple of dinners. Nothing else, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Worth, worth the time. Isn't that amazing? A couple of dinners? Well, this time, it depends <laughs> it on where you're going no, I, I didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and folks, anybody who's turned 65 and above and hasn't done this, and, and Chuck, am I right? All counties do this as well, right? So this, Yeah, it's a Kentucky thing. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice thing. Not yeah. so much over um, in Southern Indiana, but yeah. Yeah. They call it uh, different things in different uh, states uh, or they, the homestead refers to different things in different states, Texas, Florida, Indiana, they all have yeah. a homestead exemption, but it relates to something other than what we're talking about. Got it. All right.